Alright, what is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with an exciting Top Gun Maverick Matchbox update. So I've been trying to keep up the, with these the best I can. I have a ton of playlists um, where I open each of these planes that have come out so far individually, including the aircraft carrier playset. And then I stumbled across two new ones and we'll touch on these in a second. Um, this one came out uh, earlier this year, even late last year, the four pack, um, the Legends Past and Present, I was holding out so long to try to find these at Kroger or someplace because that's where I had good luck finding a lot of the Top Gun stuff. I just could not find it. So I ended up getting this off, I think I got it off eBay. It was like $20, which I didn't think was that terrible shipped because each of these planes are like three bucks so 12 it's a little bit bigger packaging um and these are this one is Iceman's and it's exclusive to this line so far so the other three they've released um that one they haven't yet so as we move over to the two individual ones so i have not seen a new one of these come out in months and then all of a sudden the other day i spotted this mixed in with the regular uh, Skybuster. So I think they're check it just in case because they were coming in the little Top Gun like uh, cardboard, but they might be mixed in with the regular um, Skybusters. So just be checking those out. But the interesting part is this is 30 of 31. So that is now the third different um, like out of number, like set number that we've seen. So we've seen what I think 15 out of 15 out of 16, which was on the um, P-51 Mustang, that card said out of 16, and now the newest ones, whoop, say out of, I can't even, will it, oh, there it goes, um, they say out of 31, which I thought is weird, so now it, it magically went from 15 to 16 to now we're getting 31 of these, so but what 31 of those are, I have no idea, because I can't find a list anywhere, they're not released, they're not listed anywhere, so your guess is as good as mine at this point. So um, this one was kind of a interesting one. This is, I believe, the only fantasy, like true fantasy, like the other two. I know people have commented about these before, um, about the Dark Star and then the enemy strike jet being based on real um, jets in the movie and jets in real life. But this is a full fantasy casting that uh, Matchbox released in 2004 called the Mich Mission Chopper. Like, it's been released countless times. It's released in the Jurassic Park line um, as well. So it was cool to see this in Top Gun livery. And But the, the number blew me away. So I don't see anything else on the card that's odd. And then this one I thought was even weirder. So this is the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet Maverick. So they've released this the same plane what so they it come out it came out before as like you know plane two or something it one came with the aircraft carrier one is in this play set and then now this one has a separate 31 and they're actually named a few different things one of them is the f-18 hero the other one's maverick i i think they have two or three names for them but as far as i can tell across all of them they all have the same tampos they all have the same um, pilot name they all have the same number on the underside so I I this confuses me as much much as it probably confuses you when you see it so I mean I've looked them over but we're gonna unbox both of these check them out and then compare them against the other two or three we're gonna unbox this to um, F-18 see if there's any difference and then let me know in the comments if you found a different one or if the packages that you've had have said something else because I don't know if they're different internationally, even in Canada, Mexico, the UK, anything like that. So um, let me know in the comments what you're finding. So um, I'm going to put the camera down now because I was trying to get like the upper view to show you kind of everything. And then we'll do like a normal unboxing and then we'll compare the jets. So, all right, first we'll go ahead and unbox the Legends Past and Present box. Uh, this is a pretty cool set. I really like the card art, how it's um, like it's like the old blue Top Gun and then it transfers into the new like Maverick like flame style paint. It's pretty cool. I like it. it uh, they, it's done pretty well. There is the back of it. As you can see, um, there is Iceman's F-14 one we haven't got yet. The the Tomcat Maverick got Dark Star and the 18 Super Hornet Maverick. We've already got that. So technically, so when we compare it like these, these are the same names like I was talking about earlier, how some of them actually say hero and they're different. Um, so these two do have the same ones. So 
pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bust it open. This one actually like it came damaged, but I didn't I didn't really mind because I was gonna open it anyway. So uh, it's a big card. It's cool. I like the color. All right. That's a cool little stand too. Okay. So let's take out the F18 first. Um, yeah, so I don't see any differences on this. Uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll put this one to the side, um, but I'm gonna put it over on my right side so I know that this is like the new one. Um, the Dark Star, again, I've already gone over a lot of these. This, uh, here is the one that came out before. I'll put keep the stand on it so I can um, show the difference, but uh, I do not see any differences on these paint-wise. Um, they just have different, like, casting dates on them, um, but everything appears to be the same. So, um, just, that's a good note. If, in case, I don't know if you're collecting them for completion or just want to get one of each, because really, uh, if you could just buy the Iceman, uh, F14, you wouldn't have to buy this whole pack. So, this is the Maverick, and then I'm going to keep this one in my right hand so I don't mix them up. Um, again, this looks identical to the one that was released previously. It's an awesome looking jet. Uh, there you can see, I mean, really everything looks the same on it. I don't think there's any difference. Um, they feel the same weight. Again, the casting number is a little different, but other than that, um, no difference on that one. So, cool. looks good though. So here's the new one, um, the Iceman, played by Val Kilmer in the movie. Um, this looks cool. Uh, I mean, it's very similar to the, uh, Maverick one. Or the Goose, I'm sorry. Is it the Maverick? Yeah, Maverick and Goose, yeah. I was getting myself confused there, so. Um, yeah, so this is the new one, as you can tell. If you look on the, um, rear wing. Oh, my bad, I didn't even have it in focus. Um, this one does have, uh, Tampo graphics on it, so it does separate, set, set, it does set it apart, oh my goodness. Um, this one actually looks a little bit lighter in color. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Uh, obviously they have different, um, nose graphics and pilot call outs on the side. Uh, but other than that, they're physically the same casting other than the decorations, but they look good. So this is a new one. Um, if you're looking for this to like complete the whole set, you'll definitely need this one playing 104. It looks good. You know, all these planes look good, especially for the price. This retailed at, I think it was right around the com like the combined price of the planes, like $12.99, $13.99, which really isn't bad for them, especially because you get this exclusive plane with it. So, cool. I like it. So I'm going to set these all on my right side here, just in case. Uh, I'm not going to put this. The Dark Star does come with a stand. It's the only one. Um, this one and then the P-41 Mustang comes with the stand because they don't have landing gear. All the rest of them um, have the landing gear down. So you don't get a stand with those, which is kind of a bummer. I think they look cooler with no landing gear. Um, but at the same time, like you can't set them up on the aircraft carrier like that if they don't have landing gear. So, oh, Top Gun Maverick. Okay, so here's the Mission Chopper. I'm gonna open this one first. Uh, so I, again, like I said, I found this at Kroger, oddly enough, mixed in with the regular Skybusters. And then I noticed when I searched them on eBay because I was like, oh snap, is there, you know, are there a whole ton of these out and I'm missing them? Have I not been looking hard enough? But it looks like this one and then the F-18 with the 31 to 31 are the only two out right now that are like new and have the new number call out on them. Um, so this is kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if it's, if you can see it, the, the back might be blown out a little bit, but um, there it says Top Gun Maverick on the bottom. It has a little bit of like, I guess I would call it camouflage. It's like, I don't know, it's almost like, it almost looks like an error, but it's just as gray and black kind of randomly throughout it. Um, there you can see it a little better, I think. Um, it's got the rear tail, tail rotor, the main rotors. This one actually has a different style of wheel than the ones in the past. If you look up the casting on a Matchbox um, a wiki for this model, this is a new version of it or an updated version. It used to have an axle that came through here with tires, like freewheeling tires, and now they're plastic 
um, just like plastic cast tires so they don't actually roll which is a little bit of a bummer because that to me that's actually making this casting worse but this release of it looks really nice the dark blue looks really good on it um, obviously this one won't be in the movie because it's not a real uh, you know it's Matchbox Fantasy but there might be a helicopter in the movie with a similar look to it I don't know because the movie keeps getting pushed back which is probably why these toys are being so being released so erratically so this is a cool one another one what this is playing like 15 in total that they've released so far so I like it the the rotor spins pretty good cool okay so now for the oddball one the 31 of 31 the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet Maverick. So um, I'm really looking forward to opening this one and checking it out and seeing if there's any difference at all between um, the other releases. So when I look at it, it doesn't look any different. So here's the one we just opened in the Legacy Pack. As you can see, there is no, um, uh, there is no difference to this. So the, the tampos all look the same, all the colors look the same, um, the pilot callouts are the same. Really, I don't see anything different. Yeah, not even a difference in colors. Like, if I go like this and mix these up, there's there's no difference other than the, um, the only difference on all these models are the um, date codes. So that's, I can't even remember what that is. Um, what that means is like the 26th week of maybe November, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm totally guessing because I have no idea, so don't even worry about that. But they are different, so you can tell usually which ones were released at what time by those date codes. So, um, so let's take a look at the other two real quick. So there are now four different versions of this plane, but they're all the same. Um, yeah, I don't see any different across any of these. I don't know if you see in the video, let me know. But so these are the two old ones. These are the two new ones. Yeah, I mean, they look all identical. They all have the same call outs. They all have the same tampos. Um, there's no difference in them other than, again, there's different um, date codes. So we'll go ahead and look at the, the bottom of them. So the two new ones, the one in the Legacy Pack, I believe is the P08. And then the N26 is the other new one. Um, the other old one is N03 and N03. So these are basically same, the exact same plane, just one of them was the, the aircraft carrier and the other one was the single pack release in stores. And then one of these was the Legacy and then the other one obviously was the plane 31 to 31. But other than the date code, you can't even tell. So I have no idea. I'll have to go back in the video and actually see which one is which, but they're all the same. So they've released four of the same F-18 so far. And then we have two of the F-14 Tomcat that are the same. And then the new Iceman F-14, two Dark Stars, which are the same. The new Mission Chopper, and then all the rest um, are different. So, so let me count them real quick. So we have, in total, different models. We have one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So right now we have a dozen released in total. And then I'll bring the aircraft carrier back over here. So as of this filming in mid-September of 2021, we have a dozen different planes released. Now I've looked through eBay. I don't think I'm missing any. Um, to, to me, collector-wise, the hardest ones to find or um to find like to find at the store was this one i don't even remember if this was a um single pack i believe it was but this is the um what is it rogue nation f14 this one i didn't find very many of i have only seen a few of these i believe and then this one and i can't remember what the name of this one is but it's the black um f18 with the playing card on the on the I don't think it's called blackjack it might I can't remember right this second because it's been a while since I opened it and it doesn't actually have the name on it uh, or maybe it is Phoenix it might be Phoenix um, the name of the pilot so this is the other one that I think is the most rare in terms of release so these two I have seen the least of and then I would probably have to say after that would be the uh, which one are these is it hangman and rooster yeah these two colored 
um, F-18s. These I have seen the least amount of as well. Probably the yellow one and then the red one. Um, so those were those were the least released that I found personally. Um, definitely the Phoenix or the what is this? Yeah, Phoenix, the black one, has been the hardest to find. The rest of them, even the F-35, the uh, P-41, Dark Star, Enemy Strike Jet, like those were everywhere. Um, but the rest. Like this has been everywhere too. The F-14, that kind of sold out pretty quick, but I saw a lot of them. So if you're collecting this line, check your stores right now for, hey bad, my camera cut off right there. I had a, I forgot I was using a bad battery, but um, yeah, if you're looking for them in stores right now, the Mission Choppers, what's up? Um, that one, and then the um, other F-18 with the 31 of 31 call out, and then the, what is that? 30 of 31 call out for the Mission Chopper. So they, there they all are. Right there, all the planes released so far, even in duplicate. Um, so in total, what was it that I say? 12, what, um, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 planes in total so far um, have been released. So if you're looking for a complete set, this is what it looks like. You have a ton of F F-18s all over the place, a couple F-14s. So um, that's it for the update right now. As soon as I come across more, I'm going to post more videos, and then when they all come out, whenever that is, I'll do a giant update video and show all the play sets and planes and everything together, and we can go over them again or kind of touch on them a little bit. So, I really appreciate you watching. Um, stay tuned for more Top Gun updates. I have a lot more stuff I need to film. I've just been so busy. Um, you know, 64 wheels. On TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Lamely Group, Drive Tribe, everywhere. Um, connect with me. We have a lot of fun on other social media. I try to post a lot here too, and I'm going to try to post even more coming up. So, again, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.